Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts of Fesco and Gear Sight on the web, and today we're gonna uncreate the Cortex Chicane ST Glove. All right, Speed Addicts fan, before we jump in and tell you all about these Chicane Gloves from Cortex, go ahead and subscribe for me. That really helps us keep bringing you the best gear reviews in the universe, of course. And if you decide you'd like to purchase a set of these Chicane ST Gloves from us here at speedaddicts.com, That'd be rad too, we make it easy. There's a link in the description below to shop for these exact gloves or any other parts or gear you might need for your two, next two wheel adventure. So when it comes to a shorty sport oriented glove, there is a lot of competition. I mean, a lot. We see a, a ton of these gloves kind of in the same price point, generally from the same types of materials, but I will say the Cortec Chicane ST does stand out from the crowd for me. This thing, it feels some of the other gloves in this price range feel crunchy, um, which is a weird word to use, but they feel, let's just say it, they feel kind of cheap. These have a nice premium feel because they are using genuine goat leather, not just on the palm, but or not just on the back of the hand, but all the way around the palm. So I really do like the feel and fit of these. We're gonna break them all down for you right now. So like I said, this is a short sport oriented glove, multiple colors available. This is the white black, of course. MSRP, 64 bucks, very affordable. When it comes to the fit, you're gonna see sizes small all the way up through 4XL as well as women. So what I'm noticing with Cortex gloves are they are running a little bit small for me. I've noticed the fingers are a little on the short side. When you measure for Cortex, they're gonna want a palm measurement just across the thickest part of your palm. I'm coming in right about four inches, which would recommend a large for me. And the large is this, just not cutting it. Not only is it a little too small overall, which could break in a little bit over time. Um, the fingers are just a little short. I'm gonna recommend you round up about a half to a full size, depending on where you fall on that sizing chart. Okay, so round up, they run small, that's my advice. Now, when it comes to fitment and gear, you should be buying your gear at Speed Ice because we offer no cost returns. All you have to do to qualify is live in the lower 48 states. Make sure you just try it on at home, not on the bike. It needs to be brand new with original packaging. A couple clicks, we'll get you a free return label. Give us a shot, we'll treat you like family. Okay, back to the gloves, and enough with my shameless plugs. Here we are, it's a good looking glove. It's got lots of venting. We're gonna start out with the ventilation. Perforated back of hand, you see all the little pinholes there, that is what we call perforation, and that's gonna allow air to flow through the chassis of the glove, which is all goat leather. You have TPU knuckle protection. This knuckle protector does have a little bit of flex, okay, so it's got some hard shells on these little knuckle protrusions, but the base of it is that thermoplastic polyurethane rubber that does have a little bit more flex than just a straight hard shell, which I like to see. So you see that that's running through the middle. So it does have some flex and moves with my hand, even though this is a snug fit for me. Across the fingers, they do throw a couple little rubber pucks across the fingers. And of course, accordion stretch panels. It is pre-curved out of the packaging. So that's kind of what it looks like just when you first try it on. So a pretty good fit right out of the box. As you move back, you're gonna see that they do have a little neoprene pull, an accordion back here that's gonna give you some uh, flexion as you roll the throttle on there. <clears throat> as we move to the palm of the glove, the entire palm is uh, genuine goat leather. Now goat leather has a really good stretch to it that can control the, the thickness of the material better than bovine le leather and also keeps the cost down. So in case you're wondering why they use goats on a lot of gloves these days, that is what they're up to. This first panel here, this is not for abrasion, this is for grip. So this has a synthetic uh, pattern printed on it. It's gonna allow you to hold onto the handlebars in the throttle with less hand fatigue. All double stitched. I do like that they use that leather stitching, kind of gives it a cool racing look there. Up on the fingers, and the forefinger, or sorry, your index finger and your thumb, if you can barely make out that little panel there, this is a touchscreen compatible panel that will allow you to unlock and, and manipulate your smart device there. I'd give this one a B. It works pretty darn well. It's not wrapped around the tip of the finger, which tends to help. I've seen that on some other gloves, but if you can get that pressed flat on the screen, these pick it up pretty darn well. Now, when we move down into the protection zone here, the heel of your hand, you are getting foam uh, pads on those vulnerable carpal bones, both on the, uh, the lateral and on the scaphoid bone right here. These do not slide, right? These are not hard plastic, but it will give you some padding protection and some abrasion resistance. If I turn that over, you can kind of see they've run actually 
uh, another pad all the way along the side here. And you do get pinky reinforcement. This is a real typical abrasion zone on your, on your average uh, kind of low side get off when you slide there. So that does it. Cortec Chicane ST. Plenty of airflow too. You notice this TPU uh, rubber is all vented here. So if you're looking for a short, uh, I'd give this kind of high to mid range protection for an affordable price point. The uh, Chicane ST is worth a look there. Remember to round up a half to a full size and Cortex is going to stand behind it for a full two years, which is honestly about a year longer than most of the gloves kind of in this price range. Now, if there's a question I didn't answer about these gloves, don't worry. Rider support is standing by for you over at speedaddicts.com. That's right. You can talk to a human from Speed Addicts through the phone, live chat, or emails. If you got a set of these chicane gloves from Cortec, let us know how you like them in the comment section below. Appreciate you for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.